Okay, in this problem, uh, we're looking at um, this accounting problem that has a very common um, correlation to another type, another type of problem. And that is, um, when you read through it, you see that you've got a basketball team with five players. They make 28 total shots. Um, one thing to pay close attention to, it does say that the five players make shots. That means that the five players we're worried about all do make a shot. And so we're going to have, um, we can think about the five players as a, player A, player B, player C, player D, and player E, and the total number of shots they make is 28. So if A is the number of shots player A makes, D, player B makes, and so on and so forth. And this is a very common problem that can be solved using combinations. And the way that you solve it um, is often referred to as sticks and stones or, ball, or balls and urns. You can look up either one of those on the internet and find out more about them. But essentially what it says is, is imagine, so since each one of these can be one, it's actually a little bit easier. So you imagine um, 28 stones. I'm not going to draw all 28. But if we look, um, line those 28 stones, and we say those are the 28 made baskets or the 28 shots that he made, then we can determine the number of ways to partition those stones to A, B, C, D, and E by thinking about picking four spots to um, place uh, sticks that partition it. And so this particular case would be two, um, A made two shots, B made one shot, D made one shot, E made one shot, and C made the rest, which would leave 23. So what the problem turns out to be is how many slots are there to put a stick, which the answer is 27, um, and then you want to choose um, four places to pit those sticks, and so the answer turns out to be 27 to 4. And so you can calculate that very quickly. The nice thing on this particular problem is 4 times 3 times 2 equals 24, so it's just 27 times 26 times 25, which turns out to be 17,550. It's a very common type of problem called sticks and stones. If, it's, if, it's, if every variable has to be one or more, then it's always going to be, this is always going to be one less than the number of things that you're distributing, and this is always one less than the number of people or things you're distributing, distributing to.